Previously on the bill. Oh, we'll see show us, Dini. Let's go, baby boy! The boy never stops. <laughs> Are you going to tell me I passed then? The world really does revolve around you, doesn't it, mate? I didn't want to know I did. First water main. What? What? what do you think happened? It caught fire. Yeah. You can't go beyond this tape. That's fair. Marvin, go to your classroom. Come on. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. So we're doing air then. All right. Taping off the air, keeping these little tights out. <laughs> okay, let's get CRD down there. So. Right. The fire brigade think it's suspicious, right? And it's still was used in the bins behind the back of the building. What does that mean? Sorry, you are? Becky James. That was my classroom. I'm head of year 11. Right, it means that we've got to investigate it as a crime. So the whole place is now a crime scene, so you're not allowed in. Can't I salvage anything? Uh, I'm afraid not, no. Have you got any idea who could have done this? See, an arson can be a revenge crime. So any risk of exposure or... Excuse me! Can you stay this side of the line, please? It's someone's blood. Yeah, well, you still need to stay this side of the line. You can leave that where it is. I don't think so. What is it with teachers that make them think they know it all? That's their job, isn't it? Glad to be back at school, Eddie. <laughs> I'm from home, mate. Only in my day, it was behind the gym, not the art block. <laughs> <laughs> where well, you got our footprints? Yeah, lads. The complete ones will be the most recent. What time was the fire brigade called? About midnight. Bins were the start of it. No, no, no. The brigade investigator said there was one bin. That one had accelerant. The other must have caught a light as a result. Is there a safer schools officer here? Not a resident one. Look, we all know the reputation this place has got. The safer neighbourhoods team says they've got drugs trouble. And what does the head teacher say about that? That they've had problems with dealers on the main gate. They think it's gang related with some of the younger gang members bringing it into the school as well. Bringing in what? The trouble or the drugs? bit of both. They've had a crackdown on kids smoking on the premises, but this is a popular place to skin up. What happened? Fire. Oh, 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 you can't go in, mate. Oh, no, my coursework's in there. You can't go in. Miss, you won't let me get my work. It's a crime scene. No one's allowed in. Did you get it out? Look, it's been Mike this since I arrived this morning. Jimmy, even I'm not allowed in. Well, the fire doesn't get it. The hoses usually do. Nice. Jimmy! Charming. It looks like a witness sign, only it says, hide your eyes, block your ears and shut your mouth. Now, how is that art? Why are 15-year-old kids being taught that at school? Maybe it was ironic. Look, I get painting, I get drawing. But that's not art, that's sign writing. Really? Did the three of you attend the fire scene at Deansgate? This one. Uh, Nate, I'm going to attach you to the school as temporary safety schools officer. Me? Yes, we need someone in there now because of this arson. Is that a yes, Mum? Oh, uh, yes, Mum. Yeah. Why me? Um, I just think you've got the right mentality for it. I'll tell CID. Well, not for you to me, mate. What do you mean, right mentality? For what? Well, the inspector's sending Nate back to school, so I'm just a school's officer. Yeah, apparently I've got the right mentality. She means you're juvenile. Sunshine, you'll fit right in. Converse All-Stars. Our arsonists could be wearing them. Size 5, so it could be female. Is that why I'm going there? Looking for trainers? No, the DA wants a figure of authority to restore some discipline. They're likely to get a bit hyper after something like an arson. Can't wait. You're also there to investigate. They want to know if drugs and gangs had anything to do with it. Right. Who is it? Girls outside school. Right. Give you class through now. 
What, and you didn't want to call it in? Who are you doing, Sarge? Because the neighbours did call it in. Right, what do you want to happen? These two, my office at school. Right, OK. You two are supposed to be friends. She called me a thief. I didn't. Was there anything missing? My bag. So what? You got a reason to be thinking that was me, yeah? Let me hear it, then. Either there's a reason or there isn't. Jasmine, you can't accuse someone without proof. And you can't get physical because you don't like what someone said. But she hit me, though. I never. Whoever started it is irrelevant. You assaulted her. I saw you. And on that basis alone, you can face a caution. If we can leave what happened today in this room, none of that will be necessary. Jasmine. Kadisha, can you do that? If you can, then stand up, shake hands, and we can move on. I'm sorry, but are we happy we're at the bottom of this? I am. Well, normally I'd ask if this is related to any other problems you might be aware of. This is a school matter, and I'm saying I'd like to draw a line under it. Hmm? Kadisha! <sighs> can I go now? Jasmine. Well, those Converse All Stars. Yeah. What size are they? Five. Right. As part of the investigation, I'm going to have to ask you if I can take him. You can't be serious. I can, and I am. We're eliminating footprints for forensics. And what's she supposed to wear? I don't know. But this is an arson investigation, and it's not going to get sorted by people shaking hands. Oh, Jimmy. It is Jimmy, isn't it? So we're room 108 is. <laughs> yes, yeah, this way. So, got exams this year? Me. And what are you predicting? B's mostly. A for art, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah, because of the fire. Yeah. Jeez. Oi, oi, oi. Where'd you keep your CS spray then? Here, where I can get to it. Can we have a look? No. It's not a nightstick. It's a nightstick. Well, it's American. It's an asp. Telescopic baton. How's it work? Racket. Oh! Uh, playing with your trench in there. It's an asp. Yeah, playing with your snake, that's worse. Can I see how it works? Later. Yeah. Go on, in you go. What happens if someone over 17 asks you to carry a weapon for them, or drugs. Are they still your mates? Oh. Oh. Kadisha, what's your opinion? Well, like he says, walk away. What if they won't let you? You step up. You mean fight? <laughs> well, if someone gets in your face, yeah. <laughs> Look, if you back down, they ain't never gonna leave you alone, yeah? <laughs> never. How many of you would talk to an adult about it? <laughs> like, a, like a teacher no. or a police officer? No. 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 Why not? Look, you've got to do it yourself. Why? Look, be real, yeah? Are you trying to tell us, yeah? If someone got in your face, someone tried to tell you what it is, what you wouldn't do with it yourself, no? Not by getting into a fight, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you personally. If someone slapped you in front of your girlfriend, oh. you want to kill him. You could defend yourself, yes, but that stops when you go on the attack. That's when you get arrested. Okay, so let's say then I just decided to like slap you here in front of everyone. Oh. <laughs> After what happened earlier, you'd be in a serious amount of trouble. Now, I suggest you sit back down. 
<laughs> see, I told you you wanted to hit me, innit? I weren't gonna hit you, though. But I can see it. It's in your eyes. Sit down. See, you were rushing up to help me. Let the dog see the rabbit. I'm sorry? That's what teaching is about. Letting the students see who you are. Oh, that's jokes. You put your number up like you're going to be getting calls you don't want, sir. Where from? People like you? No. Look, you're not mad with me, are you? That weren't nothing. I don't get mad about things like that. I'm not from youngsters like you. So what, did you really take Jasmine's shoes? Was it because of the fire? What makes you say that? Well, that's why you're here. What do you know about the fire? Nothing. All right, look, I do know Miss James caught Jasmine smoking back there. Smoking weed. See, because um, Miss James and Jasmine, they don't really get along. Miss thinks she's lazy. That's all I know. Did you catch Jasmine Clark smoking weed behind the art block? Yes. What happened? I confiscated it. It? What? Half a spliff and a small amount of weed she had in her bag. When? About three days ago. And you didn't think to tell us? I don't see how it's relevant. Well, it's relevant because these things are often connected. What things? Smoking, dealing, gangs. Then your school catches fire. Honestly, I think you're blowing this whole drugs and gangs thing out of proportion. If you'll excuse me, I'm on playground duty. How much weed was involved? A small amount. That's according to the head of year. You sound like you don't believe her. She doesn't want the outside interference. Do you think this Jasmine girl might be dealing? Why do you ask? We know it's an issue and the head thinks that gangs are involved. That could be why one girl told Nate about the other. Take our rival. It's a possibility. Maybe gang rivalry is behind the arson and the rest is just flannel. I'd say put it to her. If Nate wasn't allowed to ask, then we should. Is the footprint a match? Well, probably. I can't tell you 100%. I'll have to wait for the lab. But I'll bet money they come back with a yes. Right, OK. Do it on the basis of the shoes. First thing tomorrow morning. Yes, go. Loads of people go around the back of the art rooms. You admit to being there? Not to start no fire. Why were you there? Miss James says she caught you smoking. She's 16. She's allowed to smoke. Not on school property. And not when it's weed. Miss James confiscated a spliff and a bag of weed. Is that true? You better answer me, Jasmine. And look at me, because you know I know if you're lying. There's been some trouble at school with smoking and dealing. The fire could be connected to that. Is it? No. You know I'll back you up if that's the truth. But if you're lying, so help me. I'm not lying, Mum. I swear it wasn't me. It wasn't her. Were you dealing, Jasmine? She just said she wasn't. Jasmine? No. Who did you buy your weed from? Some boy outside the gate on a scooter. I don't know his name. But she just told you she wasn't dealing. She knows nothing about this fire. That means she's not involved. Jasmine, is there any more about the fight or the weed incident that we should know about? Hi, Jimmy. Nice. You spend a lot of time in the art room that got burnt down. I hear the area behind the art block where the fire started is where a lot of the kids go to smoke weed. Who told you that? Well, it doesn't matter who told me. 
What matters is whether it's the truth. Did the fight that happened yesterday have anything to do with the smoking and dealing that goes on in this school? Why are you asking me? No, you spent a lot of time in the art room. Maybe you heard something. Oh, it's come out all wrong. It's got bubbles in it. Let me see. It's fine. No, it's rubbish. <sighs> Jimmy asked me, could you please stop singling him out to talk to? I haven't. Till just now, the only thing we've spoken about is his work. And what did you ask him just then? I asked about the fight, whether it was connected to the school's drug problem. The school doesn't have a drug problem, and he won't tell you anything about the fight because he goes out with Kadisha. You don't think you've got a drug problem with kids smoking it in school? This artwork that you picked up from behind the tape. It's a student's work. They paint what they want to. You encourage that? I encourage them to think about what they see in their community, yes. So painting what you see, that's, that's okay. But actually doing something about it, talking to the police, helping us, that's not. Outside of this building, there is too much to contend with. We just try and get the school bit right. Yeah, part of your school caught fire. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're saying it's better when things are kept in-house, yeah? Like with Kadisha and Jasmine in your office, and not telling us about Jasmine smoking weed. Well, to me, that says nothing has any consequence. It all stays in the bubble. Of course there's a consequence. But someone has to listen to these children as well. What do they want? It isn't you, is it? Which leaves us. On scene of the burglary, can you confirm the informant is Carol Clark? Over. That's confirmed. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is my daughter. All right, uh, what seems to be missing? Um, the games console, which was taken from there, and my laptop from work, which was taken from the kitchen. OK, right. Well, we're going to send the crime scene officer down to check for prints if you can avoid touching the area until they've arrived. OK. Right, when did this happen? In the last hour. While we were down the police station. Someone wanted us to know if a fight from school was linked to a fire they had. It wasn't. OK, so um, where did the thieves get entry? Probably through the front door. But there's no sign of forced entry there. No. So what makes you think they came in that way? Jasmine. I have my bag nicked at school. My keys were in it. Jasmine Clark just had a house burgled, probably with the keys from her bag. Can you point out the girl she had a fight with? Could she was? I haven't seen it. All right, well, we'll get an address. OK. Jimmy, you seen Kadisha? Now have a go with the batter. Not at the moment. Wait a minute. Boys, you've got somewhere to go. Go on. Kevin, did you have class with Kadisha at the end of today? She wasn't in. Well, it wasn't in class, it wasn't in school. Kevin, Jasmine's bag's been nicked. This is in danger of getting out of hand. I heard they was having a street knock. Or another fight? Where, Kevin? When and where? I don't know, bro. I've got to go, yeah? Kevin! I've got to go, man. Jasmine and Kadisha have got another fight planned. When? Don't know. Don't know where either. We've got Kadisha's address. We'll pick her up now. Send a text through, Sherbourne Park. Could be the fight. OK, you go there, we'll cover the house. When we're out, we'll find her. Right. Sarge, do we know where in the park? No, Sarge. Right, you go round there. No, you take the right, I'll go round to the left. <laughs> Over there. I'm doing this from 54. A sort of happening in Sherbourne Park. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Check the girl! Oi! Stop! Suspects are icy one and icy females, over. Received. Can you hear me? Are you Kadisha? Oi! Can come here! Can you hear me? Stay where you are! Come here!
You had enough? What have you? Hands against a tree. Do it! Where are you, Sarge? Sarge? Side of Sherbourne Park in the Rose Garden. All right, all right, Sarge. All right, you've been stabbed in the arm. Looks worse than it is. I'm going to turn you over, okay? All right, all right. Hey. It's not breathing right. Can we something flat? Yeah, yeah, credit card, hold on. Right, right, back on his side, on his side. Okay. Give me why. Where's the ambulance? Where's the ambulance? Mm. Say, Oscar 795, where's the ambulance? Sergeant Smith has been stabbed in the chest. You're in good hands, Smithy. I'm coming to the hospital. Is that condition what? Yes, ma'am. You're okay. It was supposed to be a girl fight. There was no sign of Jasmine Clark. I let my one get away. There was a bag. Did the one find a bag? No bag. Where were you? I responded to the first call for backup. But there was no suspects there when we arrived. Okay. What happened? Smithy's been stabbed. How? Oh, I don't know. Um, Smithy and Nate were dealing with a schoolgirl fight. One of the girls had been stabbed. I need to be doing something. How bad is it? Are you all right? I should have been with him. I should have backed him up. His lung was punctured, so it collapsed. Oh. Just the lung or anything else? Just the lung. So he'll be okay? He won't say. The fact that he's not dead means he's riding his luck. Let's hope it holds. Do you know where Katisha Watts is, Mom? Uh, yeah, she's along the hall. Okay. I mean, you know she's looking like our only witness. I put a uniform outside her door. We won't get anything out of her, though. She's still unconscious. Jo, be sure to get her clothes as soon as you can for forensics. Sure. What are we fishing for? Witness opposite said he saw an IC3 male drop something in there. Have you got a description? Yeah, grey hoodie, jacket and jeans. He had a bag so it fits. Ah, yeah. uh, you see, a magnet. Now, if this was a ceramic knife, that would never have worked. Always thinking. Did you see the knife? No. How did your man get away? Well, I cornered him and he overpowered me. What I want to know is how did a playground fight end up with the stabbing of one of my officers? 
The two suspects took a bag off the girl. Um, it looked like it had substantial package in it, about that's so big. In the package, you think it was drugs? I don't know, sir. If it was drugs, why tell your school friends it was a fight? Eden? That's good. Yes, I'll send him down straight away. That was Inspector Weston. Smith is conscious. She wants you down there now with a Wads laptop. Oh, sir. How is he? He's very lucky. It's in a serious condition now as opposed to critical. Go and see him. I don't think so, ma'am. Do you need some time off? No, ma'am. If you can't be focused where you need to be, Nate, it might be a good idea. We come on shift every day. All of us. Knowing anything could happen. Don't blame yourself. I can't go home, Mom. Okay. Wait for me. It looks worse than it is. The latest news is they. Found a knife. Good. It was stuck in my chest. You were stabbed there. You know what I mean, it was stuck in there. And <laughs> when he let go of it, it just stayed there. And I could feel it. And then when he came back to pull it out, there was nothing I could do. And I just thought, I just thought he was going to do me again. It's all right. You're with us. You're still with us, thank God. And if you want to do these IDs another time, it's. No. No, I want to get him to do it now. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm looking for the loo. No, oh, I mean the hospital. Me, Jimmy, and Miss James. We came to see Kadisha. All oh, right. Is she conscious? No. Is her family here? No, her mum's away in the States. What about Dad? He's a bit off and on. No. Well, it's good you're here then, anyway. Oh, and then. Thanks, by the way. What for? For the heads up. What heads up? That was a good thing he did. Texting me like that. It was you, Jimmy, wasn't it? I'm thanking you, Jimmy. You did the right thing. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And now you should tell me what Kadisha's mixed up with. It was me. It was you what? I took Jasmine's bag. I started the fire. You? It was me. You do realise I'm going to have to arrest you for that. Jimmy Ryan, I'm arresting you for arson. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you're later relying on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. On? Jimmy's just confessed to starting the fire. Oh, Jimmy, you can't mean that. He's been formally arrested. So any talking you've done happens down the nick. Under caution. Come on. I took Jasmine's bag to prove to Kadisha that she never had her phone. Hold on. What phone? Kadisha's iPhone. She had a new phone that her dad gave her, and it went missing when she had some friends around. So Kadisha thought it was Jasmine, is that what you're saying? Yeah. 
But you didn't think so? No, they had this big argument in geography where Jasmine was saying Khadija couldn't look in her back. So I took it. Next period, there weren't no phone. So I showed Khadija. So how does this lead us to the fire? I put the bag in the bin behind class. Then I got scared someone would come and find it, test it for fingerprints and stuff. So I come back at night, set it alight. I had no way of putting it out, so I ran. So who attacked Kadisha in the park? I don't know. But you knew enough to text PC Roberts? Yeah, because there was going to be a fight. Only it wasn't between two girls, was it? It was two men beating up Kadisha and trying to take something off her. I don't know about that. Is this about gangs at school? Drug dealing? Look, all I know about is the fire. That was me, all right? That's what I'm telling you. He's covering for Kadisha because he goes out with her. I can believe that Jimmy would take Jasmine's bag for the reason that he said, but he'd give it back. He said he burnt it. <sighs> My guess is he started this whole chain of events by taking the bag and now he feels guilty. That's why he's saying it. I know you think I'm some bleeding heart liberal, but all this talk of gangs and dealing, they're children. They tell stupid lies and get involved in petty arguments, not big conspiracies. Excuse me, Nate, can I have a word? Is a bag scene there with you? Yeah. Okay, well, the governor said to tell him that the accelerant in the fire was perfume. And Kadisha Watts had these. They're Jasmine's. If you set fire to Jasmine's bag, how'd you do it? Pour a liquid on it? What? White spirit. I found it in the bin. Wrong answer. So now I don't believe you. I'm now showing the suspect item JM2. These are Jasmine keys. They were in Jasmine's bag. Kadisha had it. Kadisha took it. No. Well, I say yes. A policeman's been stabbed, Jimmy. Just tell the truth. I took the bag. Okay. You took the bag. You showed it to Kadisha. She kept it. She burnt it. Did you text me because you thought Kadisha was in trouble? That someone wanted to hurt her? She told me she was going to meet Jasmine, I swear. So who were those two guys that turned up? I don't know. I texted you so they wouldn't hurt each other. Who? Kadisha and Jasmine. They're friends. But this is all messed up. All I did was take the bag and, and then burnt it. That was me. Maybe we can get more sense out of Jasmine. They're mine, yeah. Kadisha Watts had them. You don't seem surprised or even relieved to have them back. What can you tell me about Kadisha's iPhone? She got it for her birthday. Her dad bought it for her. It went missing, didn't it? Me, Danny and Lynn was round there on Saturday and she showed it to us, but none of us took it. Why would we? Did Kadisha take the laptop and games console because she thinks you've got her phone? I haven't. Oh, I can't do this. Who's this? The laptop in the games console was left on the doorstep about an hour ago. This is the IC3 mail from the park. You sure? Positive. Who is it, Mrs. Clark? Mum, don't. He's my son, Michael. A man's been stabbed. And Caddy was beaten. This is wrong. I can't let it be. It was it your son who returned the stolen goods? I didn't see him. The stuff was left outside, but yeah, it was him. How do you know? Because Jasmine told him that Caddy took the laptop. Why did you tell him? I don't know why. I wish I hadn't. Did you tell your brother you were meeting Kadisha in the park? And he went in your place? What time are you expecting him home? He doesn't live here anymore. Where is he, Mrs. Clark? Where can we find him? Marilla Court. Number 17. Yeah. Go! 
Get off me. Man, I'm coming in. Keys. That's my stuff. Get off me. Calm it down. Yeah? Did you resist? We tried, but four TSG sat on him. Look at this. You want it again, yeah? What? Huh? I said, do you want it again? For a big man, ain't ya? For me and the bracelets, huh? Give me the keys. Get off me. Get him in the cell. That's all we're doing, mate. Thanks, you give me the keys. Big, give me the keys. Calm down, mate. Come on, take him. What? How's your nose? What? How's your nose, mate? Huh? Come on. Get him. Oh, oh, mate. Big man, watch out. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. That's enough. Come on, mate. Get him in the cell. Nate, move away from him now. Go ahead, listen to mummy. Go ahead. You can watch your mouth. Trust you've calmed down a bit, Mr. Clark. You want to tell me why you were in Sherbourne Park yesterday, Michael? Who says I was? A police officer. Taking a walk. With who? No one in particular. You were with a white male. Who was it? <laughs> Must be Spike. Is this Spike from around, Spike from the street? You don't know his real name, he just goes by Spike. Oh, so you know him then. What do you know about Kadisha's iPhone? What? You can play stupid as long as you like, but the fact is you assaulted a police officer and another police officer has been stabbed. Yeah, look, I don't know this nothing about no stabbing yet. until you answer my questions. Your friend Spike, where is he? I don't know. We don't believe you. Look, if you're gonna try and fit me up for some stabbing I don't even know about, I ain't even talking to you no more. Okay, Carol. Do you know this man? No. Jasmine? Do you recognize this man? If you recognize him, you have to tell us. This bloke stabbed someone. He robbed Kadisha's the night we were there. What happened, Jasmine? The three of us was round at Kadisha's on Saturday. Her mum was away, so she said we could stay over. About 11 o'clock, this boy came to the door saying he was looking for some party. Kadisha said there was no party. And then this other boy with a ski mask on, he rushed her. They pushed her in and they shut the door. And then the first one, that one, he dragged them into the room we were in, and they robbed us. Was Michael one of the robbers? The one with the ski mask? <laughs> Did Kadisha recognise him? No. She knew someone must have let on, that her mum was away, but... She asked all of us. I said it wasn't me. But I can't lie to save my life. How do you know this guy? I've seen him with Michael, and Michael told me. When did he tell you? When I told him to give me the phone. Because <laughs> things had gotten out of hand. And when was that? Yesterday. Kadisha said I could have the laptop and the console back if I gave her her phone. That's why I told Michael. I wanted to get the phone back so I could swap it. So he said he'd do it for you, and went in your place. That's what happened. What's he called, this blow? Carl. Carl what? I don't know. Thanks. Nothing. OK, Carl with a K. Yes. Let's get him, shall we? Yeah. when I call him my man, I got I'm arresting you for attempted murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you later rely on call. And you do say may be given an evidence. Get it wrong. Can you explain to me how these items came to be in your flat, Cole? This is an iPhone. These are blood-stained clothes. We've already arrested Michael. You robbed a house with him. Four girls, no adults. That's where this came from, isn't it? You were actually identified from this photo kit. But now the girl whose house you robbed and the police officer you stabbed can identify you for real. 
Plus, we have the knife. Oh, yeah. We found that. It's gone straight for DNA testing. So far, it's all on you. And only you. You said you had Michael. Apart from supplying your details, according to him, all he did was go for a walk in the park. Look, look, this whole thing was his idea. What whole thing? With the girls. What about in the park? His mum had some stuff nicked. All we was trying to do was get it back. So why did it go wrong? She started yelling. It's supposed to be a simple swap. She starts saying she's got the police involved. So he hit her. But the police officer? That was you? That was all wrong. I didn't mean that. Like, I thought the whole setup was a trap. I just wanted to get away. I didn't mean for that to happen. Look, he dived at me. I didn't mean to stab him. I was just trying to get away. It was an accident? Yeah. You were carrying a knife. You took it out. You threatened a police officer, and you're saying it was an accident. I didn't mean it. But that's what happens if you are carrying. Carl is blaming Michael. Michael is blaming Carl. It's perfect for us. And with the forensic and evidential chain complete, we can charge these two with a joint enterprise offence. I um, asked forensics to run some extra tests on Kadisha Watt's clothes. They came back with accelerant on them, the perfume. For the arson? Yes, sir. Uh, her boyfriend's confessed to it. We believe he's covering up for her. So the hospital says she's fit for interview. I'm going to head down there. OK. So your phone's been retrieved, and Jimmy has admitted taking Jasmine's bag, burning it in one of the bins and starting the fire. He said that? Mm-hmm. But we don't believe him. We think that you know what really happened, Kadisha, and you need to tell us. It was me, not Jimmy. Look, I burnt the damn bag. I set it light with Jasmine's perfume. You know, Jasmine didn't organise that robbery. She simply told her brother what she was doing that night. Bad mistake, but, uh, she didn't know that he would rob you. Well, she didn't say when she figured it. Well, hey, blood's thicker than mud. And she set me up yesterday. No, she wanted Michael to give the phone back, but he had other ideas. So what happens to me? That depends on Jasmine and the school and whether they want to prosecute. I'll be doing everything I can to persuade them that that's not necessary. The victim of the heart beating, she's admitted the arson and the theft of the bag. So Jimmy Ryan can go? Yeah. What about schools, officer? What about it? Are we done there? On the face of it. Why? What do you think? Well, I think a lot's happened. We can build on it. How? We've got robbery and violence. There's some drug issues. And I think it's an ideal opportunity to do something on knife crime. So you're volunteering to stay on? I guess, yeah. This isn't you paying penance for what happened to Smithy. No, Mum. Good. Now you can go and tell Smithy we caught his attacker. Sarge? I'm sorry you got stabbed. My teacher says you won't die. Thank you for what you did. <coughs> A girl left it while I was asleep. <coughs> we got the youth who did it. Blimey, that was quick. You cracked it open with the photo of it. Or wound back to a stolen phone. A phone? That puts my mind at rest. I'm glad it was something important. Four pints of blood for a phone, eh? I'm sorry, Sergeant. Then what are you sorry about? This. Wouldn't have happened if I'd been with you. We chased the same bloke. Now, how do you know that? He had a knife. And when someone's got a knife, somebody else could get stabbed. Maybe if you had come with me, you'd be the one lying here now. But I'm not. No. So be glad about that. Because it hurts like crazy and it messes with your head. Trust me, you don't need it. Well, I suppose 
Welcome to Inspector Weston. I'm staying on at Deanscape. Now, whose idea was that? Mine. You're starting to learn something. Sad. Sticking with something shows worrying signs of maturity. <laughs> Pigs might fly. Mm. I'm counting on it. Next time right. on the bill. You volunteered to be safety officer at the school. Then look until you try it. Kevin, Kevin, can you hear me, mate? What's the matter? What have you taken? It's not what it looks like. Looks like a bag of ecstasy, Jimmy. So that's exactly what it looks like. Jerry, this is not safe. You're not safe. <laughs>